farming is the first skill you learn in Stardew Valley. Farming produces crops which can be used as food, gifts, in quest, and the community center as well as sold to make a profit. Specialty crops and year 2 exclusive crops are needed in order to complete perfection. Let's talk about how to make the most out of your farm space available. Garlic can be bought at Pierre's in spring year 2. It sells for 60 G each. Garlic takes 4 days to grow. Rhubarb can be bought at the Oasis any time of the year. It grows in spring on the farm. Rhubarb sells for 220 G and takes 13 days to grow. Red cabbage can be bought from Pierre's in summer year 2. It takes 9 days to grow and sells for 260 G. Pineapple seeds can be purchased from the island trader for one magma cap each. They can also be obtained from a hothead or tiger slime drop. Pineapples grow in summer. They take 14 days to grow, 7 days to regrow, and sell for 300g. Arrowroot is produced from taro tubers. Taro tubers can be bought from the island trader for 2 bone fragments. Taro tubers can also be found from artifact spots, canning, the dungeon, or from golden coconuts. They take 10 days to grow or 7 days if planted next to a water source. They sell for 100g each. Artichokes can be bought from Pierre's in fall year 2. They take 8 days to grow and sell for 160g. Ancient fruit seeds can be found after donating an ancient seed to the museum. This gives you the recipe to craft ancient fruit seeds and also gives you one free ancient fruit seed. Ancient fruit takes 28 days to grow and 7 days to regrow. They can grow in any season except for winter, but they are most effective in the greenhouse. They sell for 550g each. Cactus fruit can be bought from the oasis. Cactus fruit can only grow in a garden pot, in the greenhouse, or on Ginger Island. They take 12 days to grow, 3 days to regrow, and sell for 75g. Fiber seeds can be acquired from completing the special orders board request community cleanup. After completing this quest, Linus will send you the recipe in the mail. They take 7 days to grow and produce 4 to 7 fiber per crop. They also don't require water and can grow in any season. Although they only sell for 1G, they're very useful because you can use them in a lot of crafting recipes. Key saplings can be acquired after completing Caroline's Two Heart Friendship event in her tea room. After being crafted, they can grow in spring, summer, or fall outside. They take 20 days to grow and regrow every single day during the last week of the season. They produce tea leaves which sell for 50G each. Although tea leaves can be sold, you can alternatively just sell the tea sapling. They sell for 500G each, which is one of the best ways to make money early game. After reaching farming level 9, you unlock the recipe for the Iridium Sprinkler and the Seed Maker. Iridium Sprinklers water a massive 24 crops at a time. And the Seed Maker can turn any fruit or vegetable back into a seed, but sometimes has a chance of producing multiple seeds. This is extremely useful for duplicating both ancient fruit and sweet gem berries. After reaching farming level 10, you have another choice of perks to choose from. If you chose Rancher, you have the choice between Coopmaster or Shepherd as your final profession. Coopmaster lets you befriend Coop animals faster and cuts your incubation time in half for both the regular incubator as well as the ostrich incubator. This also improves the quality of your animal items within the coop. You have a 19% chance to get a gold quality item and a 73% chance to get an iridium quality item when harvesting from your coop. If you chose Shepherd, you can befriend barn animals faster. It will also make your sheep produce wool every 2 days, opposed to the usual every 3 days. If you chose Tiller at level 5, you have the choice between Artisan and Agriculturalist. Artisan makes Artisan goods worth a whopping 40% more money. This is the best profession in the entire game, hands down. This can massively increase the price of wine, juice, and more. Agriculturalist makes all crops grow 10% faster. Let's talk about your final coop and barn upgrade. To upgrade to a deluxe coop, you'll need 20,000 G, 500 wood, and 200 stone. This will increase your animal capacity from 8 to 12 and will unlock rabbit. It also comes with an auto feeder, so you don't even need to worry about putting hay down every day. As long as you have hay in your silo, it will automatically feed every animal every day. You can buy rabbits and marnies for 8,000 G and they'll produce rabbit feet and wool. To upgrade to a deluxe barn, you'll need 25,000 G, 550 wood, and 300 stone. Your barn capacity will also increase from 8 to 12. Just like the coop, the deluxe barn also has an auto feeder. You will now be able to buy sheep and pigs from Marnies. Sheep can be bought for 8,000 G at Marnies, but make sure you remember to buy shears. You'll need shears once the sheep is old enough in order to produce wool. Pigs can be bought for 16,000 G and will mature after 10 days. They produce truffles every single day as long as it isn't raining or winter. In order to produce truffles, they have to be outside. There are 8 different fruit trees in Stardew Valley. They take an entire season to grow. Once they're fully grown, they will produce fruit every single day while they're in season. If you place trees in the greenhouse, they will produce fruit every single day once fully grown, no matter what season it is. The trees will only produce normal quality fruit at first. Each year that the tree has been planted, they'll increase in quality. In spring, you can harvest from apricot trees and cherry trees. The apricot tree can be bought for 2000G and sell for 50G per fruit. The cherry tree can be bought for 3400G and sell for 80G a fruit. In summer, the banana tree, mango tree, orange tree, and peach tree can grow. 
banana tree is sold at the island trader for 5 dragon teeth or found in golden coconuts at Clint's. Each banana sells for 150 G. The mango tree can be bought at the island trader for 75 mussels. It can also be found in golden coconuts at Clint's. Each mango sells for 130 G. The orange tree can be bought for 4,000 G. Oranges sell for 100 G each. The peach tree can be bought for 6,000 G. Peaches sell for 140 G each. In fall, apple trees and pomegranate trees can grow. Apple trees can be bought for 4,000 G and sell for 100 G each. Pomegranate trees can be bought for 6,000 G. Pomegranates sell for 140 G each. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe to catch future guides. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.